Court is calling 2023 CR 3548 State of Texas uh, versus, how do you pronounce your first name? Delina. Delina. I've been mispronouncing it forever. Uh, state of Texas versus Delina Glass. Could I have parties announced for the record for the state? Jason Garrett, your honor. Defense. Adrian Pettis. And are you Miss Glass? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have you received all the discovery in this case and did you review it with your client? Yes, your honor. Court will find that the state is in compliance with discovery. Counsel, do you waive the reading of the indictment? Yes, Your Honor. State, are you pre proceeding on the indictment as presented? We are, Your Honor. Uh, did you understand you're charged with the offense of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon? That's a second degree felony. The range of punishment is anywhere from two to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. Did you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Counsel, has your client been able to provide you with any defenses? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she has a rational as well as a factual understanding of the charges against her? Yes, Your Honor. Do you believe she's currently competent and was legally sane at the time of the offense? Yes, Your Honor. The court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived her right to jury trial. Showing you the plea bargain page, did you review that with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, Your Honor. According to the plea, there's a $2,000 fine, affirmative finding of deadly weapon, state recommends deferred adjudication, there's to be restitution to Brianna, B-R-I-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Brown. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Defense? Yes, Your Honor. State? It is, Your Honor. State is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of 10 years. There be a TAP evaluation, 200 hours of community service restitution, no contact with Brianna Brown or the family of Brianna Brown. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, Your Honor. Then to the offenses charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State officer, state give them the wall with all the statutes. Any no, objection? No objections. All right. And state, have you had a chance to speak with the complainant? Oh, we, we have, Your Honor. All right. All right. You may continue to confer. Thanks. Court will accept into evidence state's exhibits one and attachments and review the same. Diana, I'm sorry, I'm going to slow it down. <laughs> I just realized that. Stephanie, you're talking too fast. All right, after reviewing state's exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty. The court will defer finding of guilt as you apply for deferred adjudication. Are we proceeding with sentencing? I'd like to. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Judge, I, I just ask that you follow the agreement. Uh, outside of the agreement, Judge, my client is indigent. Uh, specifically, she's on disability. I'd ask the court to consider probate and fine uh, in full or partially, uh, in addition to uh, probating some of the community service. All right. Why were you late for court? Um, I had to bring an Uber down here, and then I come from Universal City, and the traffic was horrible. All right. She did but, text me this morning, too, Judge. All right. What is your disability for? Um, I've had five back surgeries, uh, two knee surgeries, and ongoing autoimmune disorders. All right. So I'm reading the police report. So it always appears that females want to fight over some boyfriend who could care less about either of them. So explain to me why you thought it was appropriate your daughter's ex-boyfriend's girlfriend is coming over to have a conversation with her. I say conversation loosely. And so your daughter calls her brother and says, hey, this girl is coming over. So instead of anybody saying, let's call the police, everybody's like, oh, she's coming over to start something. And the brother's like, well, I'm going to come over there to help in case there is any problem. Nobody thinks of calling the police. Then you get involved. You fire a shot. You could have killed her. And they're I'm reading this. The bullet went through a bedroom, went somewhere else. You could have killed some young child who's just at the apartment trying to enjoy his best life. And meanwhile, people who didn't raise their children appropriately are getting into a fight over some boy who's probably with another girl right now who probably doesn't have employment and has nothing going for, for himself. Because if he did, he would not be dating girls fighting over him. So what were you thinking? It was actually the young man's sister. Yeah, but what were you thinking? I was defending my daughter because she was 27 years old. So you're pulling out a gun with a crowd of people. And I read the report and what it says was your son was trying to pull you back. Other people were in between you and this person trying to de-escalate and you escalate by pulling a gun. Did anybody pull a gun on you? 
No, but I did know them to have weapons. No. Did anybody pull a no. gun on you? So you're two steps away from being charged with murder and probably on child for murder, looking at a life sentence where nobody's going to care whether you have a disability or not. Yes, ma'am. And then you're firing a gun, and then putting it back in your waistband. People do watch too much TV where everybody wants to carry a gun in their waistband like this is Miami Vice or something. Yes, ma'am. You taught your children nothing on that day because guess what? They're going to be thinking, pull a gun. Guess what? It doesn't matter if there are 20 people around. It doesn't ma matter if we're in a crowded stairwell. Whoever gets shot, gets shot. And guess what? That bullet that went through somebody's apartment, because they say it went through somebody else's apartment who has nothing to do with nothing, their child, and we've had a case like that before, their child just standing in the kitchen, minding their own business, cooking, end up with a bullet in the brain, brain splatter and brain matter all over the floor, and they have nothing to do with nothing. And then the defendant is up in here crying, which you would have been up in crying. I didn't mean to do it. Yes, ma'am. Pulling a weapon should not be somebody's first thought. You should have picked up the phone. And I understand that this started at a different complex and then y'all took it to another complex. Everybody should have been calling the police. Yes, ma'am. That's it. People should not have been opening the doors. And if your, your son was coming over to help his sister, you know what he should have said? We're going to close this door. We're going to keep the door locked. We're going to call the police. Yes, ma'am. And that would have been the end of it. Now, guess what? You got a criminal case pending. Yes, ma'am. And you're going to be on deferred for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. And you will forever be labeled as somebody who has a felony. Yes, ma'am. Do you have any underage children at your home? Yes, ma'am. What are their ages? She's 17. Okay. This is what the court is going to do. Court is going to sentence you to 10 years deferred. That's being asked for. There's a $2,000 fine that will be probated. There's an affirmative finding of deadly weapon. There's to be no contact with Brianna Brown or her family. And if Brianna Brown shows up to your daughter's or shows up to your place because she still thinks she's got a great catch with this ex-boyfriend, you need to call the police. Yes, ma'am. 200 hours of community service restitution. Do you have any grandchildren? Yes, I have three. And who's the parent of those? My 26-year-old son. All right. Do you ever babysit? Yes, ma'am. Three days a week. All right. There's going to be parenting classes. I'm going to want regular UAs. If you're drug tested today, what are the results going to be? Negative. All right. We're going to do a UA today. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Anger management classes. I'm going to want field visits one time per month for three months. If everything works out with the field visits, then uh, probation, you can do those as you see fit. And the MRT course. Probation, is there anything else she needs? I wanted to do um, proof of disability or SSI or? Yes. Proof of disability or SSI within two months. If not provided, then proof of employment within 60 days, no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Anything else probation? No, Your Is there anything else you need from the court? No, ma'am. And it goes without saying you're not allowed to possess any weapon. Yes, Your Honor. All right, we can go off the record. Here's the thing. You shooting at her, almost killing other people who have nothing to do with nothing. She could have pulled a gun. And if your grandchildren are in that house and she wanted to fire a weapon and shoot, any one of your grandchildren could have been killed. And you know what? That would have been all on you. And you would have been on the news crying. You would have been in here crying. And everybody would have said, this is what you all brought to the doorstep. Yes, sir. So you're going to have to do better. You understand? Yes, sir. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Let's get the facts straight. She loves a verbal ashtray. Never blowing smoke when she gets pissed. She's quick to castrate. Love her on a good day. Love her on a bad day. Either way, she's here to stay, stay, stay.